The Pueblo County Clerk and Recorder currently owes thousands in unpaid campaign finance funds. Those fines piled up year after year despite repeated attempts by the state to collect that money. Investigative reporter Sean Rice is live at the Pueblo County Courthouse to explain why the clerk is on the hook for those fines. Sean. Yeah, Bart Heather, the Secretary of State's office found Pueblo County Clerk Bo Ortiz failed to properly document how his campaign received cash and how he spent it from 2014 to 2019. Because of that, Ortiz now owes the state over $4,000. There are people who are sort of serial repeat offenders. Uh, Bo Ortiz is one. That's how Matt Arnold describes campaign finance issues in Colorado. Arnold is the director of Campaign Integrity Watchdog, a nonprofit that is not affiliated with a political party. He filed a complaint in 2014 alleging that Pueblo County Clerk Bo Ortiz failed to document contributions for fundraising events and online donations to his personal website. In 2014, records show the Secretary of State's office found Ortiz violated campaign finance law multiple times for failure to disclose his donations and spending. Violation he has then recommitted in five subsequent years, according to state election officials. He's a county clerk. That's his job to enforce these same kind of violations at the county level. So, yes, he knows better. In total, Ortiz was cited for nine violations in five years. Ortiz originally owed over $21,000, but that number was decreased to $4,500 after the Secretary of State's office provided him a waiver on the fees. Even if he's no longer a candidate, even if he's no longer an elected official, that money is money that Bo Ortiz owes the state, period. 13 Investigates reached out to Clerk Ortiz for an interview regarding these violations. He declined our request. When we asked him how much money he owes the state, he said he's, quote, not sure because he's currently in the process of negotiating those amounts to lower amounts. Reporting live in Pueblo, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. Sean, thank you.